What's up, everybody? This is Gamer Zero, and I got my sidekick. Sub Zero G. Sub Zero G. So in this video, I wanted to go over the types of lenses that you can get right now. I'm only going to go over two of them. I'm going to go over the Fresnel lenses, and then I'm going to go over pancake lenses. And I'll actually talk about pancake lenses on the big screen beyond, and the pancake lenses on the Quest Pro. First, though, I got a, I got a question for this little guy here. So you've played the Quest 2 and you've played the Quest Pro. Which one is more clear? The Quest Pro. Why is the Quest Pro, why is that better? Because it's clear. It's more clear, right? Yeah, optics way better. So I wanna hold up something for you. This is actually uh, from my Vive Pro that I took out. I did a lens replacement previously. So this is a Fresnel lens. Now, you can see all the rings on there, but what's crazy is you can see those almost like God rays, and this isn't even in a headset right now. Like, for now, lenses, they are, they're just so outdated. If any manufacturer of a headset creates a headset from 2023 on, and they put for now lenses in it, nobody buy that headset. It's, it's, it's absolutely terrible. So, Brings me to my next point. I want to go over the Quest Pro lenses. Now, I'm going to try to get it really, really close. But as you can see, that you don't see any rings. And what's really crazy, I just want you to see the difference. Like, look at how big the Quest Pro lenses are. And look at how small they are on the big screen beyond. And they basically have the same field of view. That I think is absolutely crazy. So on the Quest Pro, basically that entire eye box, like the entire lens is a sweet spot, which is fantastic. They really are the best lenses in the business right now. So the Quest Pro and the people that are gonna be buying the Quest 3, y'all are gonna have a great experience. It doesn't matter if it's a couple of millimeters, you know, in, in any different direction, you're still gonna be in the sweet spot. It's gonna be fantastic. Now, one of the things with the Quest, or with the Big Screen Beyond, is the sweet spot is very small, and that's because these lenses are very small. That's why you need to have that custom face gasket. So, there have been rumors that a generic face gasket might come out, and I truly hope that doesn't happen um, I really hope that they really stick to this not being a really a shareable device because I want everybody that uses the device to have a great experience. And if you put a regular gasket on there and that person's not in the sweet spot, they're going to be getting glare. They're going to be getting just a terrible experience and that could turn them off from virtual reality. So, Sub-Zero, if you had a choice between Daddy's Blue headset or the Quest 2 or the Quest, Quest Pro, which one would you want to play uh, because it's the best headset for you? Um, the, Quest Pro. the Quest Pro. Now, are you just saying that because you can play Roblox on it? I don't play Roblox that much on it. I know, because Daddy doesn't let you. Uh, I don't like playing Roblox on that headset. <laughs> you like it on your iPad? Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot, lot, lot better. So, <laughs> from here on out, pancake lenses are the way to be. I know that you can get uh, aspheric lenses on, you know, the Varjo Aero and on the Pimax Crystal, but just the headsets are just going to be a lot larger. Um, I really do think, now that this is available... And next year, when Apple comes out with their Vision Pro headset, going smaller is going to be the new trend. Um, so pick up one of these headsets. It is fantastic. Great, great optics. Again, I would, I would put them in second place. Quest, you're not going to be able to, to compete with that. But for the size of those, having that large field of view and having the clarity... It is definitely the best. So we'll be creating more videos here soon. Uh, I'm going to be talking about audio solutions and what audio to get and why. We're going to be having a 
Mr. Sub-Zero G being the best five-year-old Beat Saber player in the world. We're going to try to do uh, some mixed reality gaming sessions with him. Uh, maybe play a little bit of Roblox or something. Um, I will be doing some Onward and some Breachers with this. Um, I'll also share my experience in actual big screen, the app, with this as well. So we have a lot of videos that are going to be in development here soon. So like our page, subscribe, comment, do all of the good stuff, and we will keep creating videos. So do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. See you guys. Bye, bro. Bye, bro.